It's fun time again. Fun time again. Chewie needs to use a bathroom. He doesn't like to go in his enclosure. He started pacing, so I brought him out so he could use a bathroom. Yeah, my snakes are just as spoiled as a cat or a dog is. They're all kind of funny about using the bathroom in their houses, so I bring them out so they can go to the bathroom in the yard. Sounds strange, but that's the way it is. I'm going to make a video out of this to thank Urban Jungles Radio and Danny and Andy for a wonderful show last night. And it was really nice to talk to you live on the air. And I'm so psyched about getting the magazine from Australia. It made my day. But, yep, this is what it's all about. But again, thank you, Danny and Andy. And your guests last night were awesome, talking about the magazine. A lot of great calls. Travis, I loved his call. I'm still, every time I think about it, I listened to it again this morning. I broke out laughing again. He's just awesome. But thank everybody for voting for me. I'm so excited about getting the magazine. And if you don't go to Urban Jungles Radio on Blog Talk, do it. You're missing an awesome show. Great guests. We have Bob Irwin and Colin. Colin's awesome, too. A lot of Australians call in and are guests on the show. Chewie's standing really tall today. He's got like a third of his body up off the ground. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I bring him outdoors to use the bathroom. He will start pacing like mad because... For some reason, probably because I've spoiled him, he doesn't like to excrete waste in his enclosure, so I bring him outdoors so he can use the bathroom. And this is what Chewie does when he's outdoors. He stands here and stares at everything. What do you say? Fun time. Go ahead and use the bathroom if you got it. Yeah, go ahead and use the bathroom. He's going to be shedding probably in another week or so. He's got that dark glow to him. There you go. So excited we're going to get you a girlfriend to raise from Brian next week sometime. So he's going to have a girlfriend, a female coastal carpet. He'll be three years old in September. He's, he's really massive. <laughs> he's a big boy. He's such a sweetheart. No, no, I, I've heard from so many people that carpet pythons are so nippy as juveniles. And he was. Three months he was horrible. Here we go. We're going to go potty. Let's not get your tote. See what I mean? About learning to read body language. Chewie was pacing so he wanted to come outside to use the bathroom. Because he doesn't like to mess his inflation. Now... You're pooping in public, Chewy, on video. And they say snakes are dumb. He's smart enough to know he doesn't want the mess in his house. So I'd say it's not too dumb. But he has his way of letting me know when he has to come outside to use the bathroom. And in the spring and summer, he comes outside to use the bathroom. Night mess. Look what you did. But this is living proof. I brought him out because I knew he had to use the bathroom, and that's exactly what he did. Now I gotta move him so he doesn't get back in it. Bad, bad snake. We'll cover it up for now, and I'll put throw a shovel full of dirt on it after every other. Feel better now? It's all gone. snake's body language and when he needs to use the bathroom he'll start pacing he'll come up to the top of his enclosure and I'll open the top he'll come out put him in his plastic tote bring him outdoors and he uses the bathroom almost instantly so yeah snakes do have a way of letting you know what they want anybody says they're dumb they're not really dumb 
guess they're smart enough, mine are, to not want to live in the same mess that comes out of their back end. I'd say it's pretty intelligent. Oh, better now you got all that out of you? Yeah, now you can go play. So now you can go play. So nope, I'm going to stand up. That's what I do outdoors. All better? No, don't go there. That's where your mess is. I don't want you back in there. I'm sorry. How about I move so you'll come to me on the other side so I don't want you getting in your mess. No, no. Go that way. Let's come this way. Come on. Come on over here. <laughs> Say, Mother, what are you doing? Get your tail out from under there, silly. Alright. Oh my goodness. to get him outside before it got really hot today because I don't like my snakes out in the intense heat. It's not really good for them. You don't want their core temps up there raging high. I don't know how people can not be attracted to a snake's body motion. They're they're just incredible. Animals. 